Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Coronavirus is playing havoc with the world, with the life of the people, with the mentality, their psyche. So there is a widespread panic across the world. We can witness throughout the world so how people are reacting to it. But the good news is that so some companies right now they are claiming they are very near to produce some antidote or the vaccine to cure the uh, coronavirus. But another dimension which will have the long-term implications, which is less debated at this point of time, is economic implications. And we have witnessed that the world has to divert substantial uh, resources to combat the challenge. Let's start from the China. China has given $60 billion to prevent it. US has signed $8.3 billion to, uh, for our emergency needs of the country. Uh, Italy, they have given $5 billion euro to combat the challenge if you get a look other around the world so there are number of countries they are giving so many financial resources to combat the challenge that is of one dimension of economic implication the real problem will start after the coronavirus is over when the government will have to fight to fight to give a boost to their business if we have look at the different allocation right at this point of the times so what is trying to give let's start again with the china china has dedicated 80 billion dollars to just take care of the business needs of its people. If you look around Italy, Italy has given the 25 billion euro. European Union, they have also allocated 25 billion euro again. But the real kind of thing came from Germany. They have given the special permission to its National Development Bank, KFW, to give loan up to 550 billion euro, which is equivalent to 613 US billion dollar. If we come to the bring it to the Pakistan, this is roughly equal to the double of economic economic size of the Pakistan's economy. Look at the dimension, double to the total economic size of Pakistan economy. So Pakistan have to be look at this dimension. How Pakistan will be facing the economic crisis when they do have very meager resources.